What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight T stand up! Once again, it's April. FTC, stay faithful. The final regular season game of the Golden State Warriors. We reacted to all 82 games this NBA season. It's exactly what I loved and wanted to do. We are in the final game. This is a crucial win. We need to win. We need to win. This is a crucial W we need to take. Because if we win this game and a few other teams lose, we get that eighth seed right at the buzzer. And we don't even got to worry about a play-in. With that being said, man, the final regular season game for the Warriors. And for all the NBA teams this Sunday, Let's check it out. Versus the Jazz. Bro, I feel like we played the Jazz like seven times the last month, bro. The Jazz. Collins and John. Uh, Sexton of Collins. Mark Cannon. Uh, Clarkson. And the rest are nobodies. Warriors. With Steph, Chef, look at Curry, man. Wiggins, Clay, Draymond, Perdonsky, Guy, Santos, Ayunas, Looney Tunes, CP3, GP2. He has really played well the last month and a half. Blocked by Kaminga, Yurtsevin stayed with it, flipped it in and drew the fuck else am I missing? Hardy at 36 years of age, but and the rest are nobodies. One of the bright young coaches in the NBA. Tracy, my bad. I knew I was with somebody. Trace Jackson Davis. Steph said that that rolled right ankle, he'll deal with it, but the coach in the NBA, Trace Jackson Davis. What? Oh, Curry isn't even playing. Bro, we need you in this game, though. I mean, we, we regardless, get a playing spot. Yo! It's the last regular season game. We got to finish off all 82 Warriors games, right? We ain't miss a single one. Said that that Fuck. right ankle, he'll deal with it, but the, today, a couple extra days just to make it better for playing, which would be Tuesday. As Chris Paul hits. Damn. Is out on I did not know that. With a skip pass. All right, we won games without Curry, though. Think Wiggins is so. hit that? That's his favorite spot. Keep breaking the paint and kicking out and finding Clay. Clay! Uh, I don't see Draymond out there either. Draymond's on the bench. He's not starting Taylor probably. Hendricks able to put in the Juzang miss. The pass was behind JK with almost a one-hand catch. Rudowski! Bottoms of three. His three-point shot the last week or so has been very good. You asked what the mentality is the last game of the season. I remember one year, Steven Jackson, he needed Step like back. seven Mid -range. Points, 20 points a game or something like that. So he was just thinking about that, rounding out his stats like he wanted him to. 99% of life is showing up. Mm. Taylor Hendricks scoring there. Dante George from deep. Okay. That's the one area he only shoots it at 32% as of late. He's been up and down there. See, beat. Chris Paul knocks down his patented mid range. Tempsky will hide behind Looney. Right Return the favor. Come Shit, on, Looney. Up and in. Milwaukee to Milwaukee on that connection. Looney finding Guy Santos. Hey, you got Santos. Santos. You up by three. Not bad. The Jazz don't got their starters either. They're not even a playoff like contention. Why does it matter for them? He is an interesting player. The one year at Ohio State. Oh, uh, nicely. One more. Moody and Moody's and JK, I think I forgot about you on the lineup, huh? Or no, I just Moody. Trust you. Ring the register. Play on Lofton. Driving by him. Clay! Righty. He's not settling. He's got the quickest advantage there. He knows it. Dario Sharks first playing time. And he goes on Shabanich and says, hey, let me score on you. Yeah, where is Michael going? Potter could not stop him. That's the ball down the lane and finish. The defense by Baisley. Play goes around Best play. Trace! Bro's racking up poster after poster dunks this season. That was calm. He's got some hang time in there to where he can switch hands, make adjustments. I want to see Trace in a dunk contest next season. I'm bullshit. Drive, and then you see him score on the three. He's a good player. Yeah. Play. Pull those. Trace! You know how often he misses those? He doesn't. Not very often. Play. Fuck it. Why not let it fly? For the dress in the corner like a with the look back on the jazz bitch. Play in the corner like a prize. How much does Clay have? Slow enough as it is, and he keeps scoring quickly. Is Potter hits the three. Pull those sharp. Nice. 
Oh, bad pass. Hendricks waiting on it. Wow. Doing that dunk in June. Bro, I, don't I don't know any of these jazz players on the floor, bro. <laughs> Holy. Nice. Wiggins. Is this dude hop stepping down the court? What the hell? Excuse me, foul by Chris Paul, fouling a three point shooter, and that is going to be unfun. Ooh, just guided that home. Like both of them helped out. Now playing the dubs in this closing stretch. Wow. Keontae George. That's just a glimpse of what he's been doing the last couple months. Wiggins. And is that it? Wait, what was it? Last couple months. Wiggins. Most 38 charge drawn this season. Most of Wow. I, you know, it's funny. I didn't even know they keep track of those. Maybe they might need to make it its own award or some shit. I mean, I'm surprised why they why did they uh they, they haven't already, bro. Like taking a charge in the paint where you're risking like your ribs and shit. Brodnowski. Play. Top of the third action. Play's got 22. This is Keontae George. I'll tell you, his three-point shot's not broken, by the way. Uh, okay. Whatever the commentator says. It's fun to watch him shoot. Keontae George picked up the dribble. Shot clock at seven. He'll watch again and hit a three. See, see, he's hot right now. Bro, it's like, bro, every other game I see, man. Baby Trace because of his brother Trace. They have a great connection. Keontae George again. Okay. Bro. Like, bro, what the fuck is the deal? What is the deal with these threes, man? Oh, that second string players and shit, bro, playing like all stars. He just lost sight of him for a split second. If you're Chris Paul, there's Paul mid range. Stop CP. Down by three. Santos thought about that side step three. Mm. Same thing with Moody. Moody. Good decision there. Whoa. Shamanich back out to Jusang. He's not going to miss it. Moody. Good shit, Moody. On the baseline right now, you got the Lakers up over 30, and Sacramento have a 30 point lead as well. Moody with a jumper. See, they made all that hard work pay off. It's available. <laughs> it's available. <laughs> Kyra Lewis ties the game. Woody from the elbow. <laughs> yo, 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 now y'all see why they second string players. How the fuck? How in the fuck does this happen, bro? And his teammate doesn't even come up and actually, like, try to help him get the ball. How the fuck does that happen, bro? Yo! Just on that ESPN Shaq in the fool right there. Working 30% off. Guy Santos! Come on, y'all. Let's finish off strong. You know this is a bench. Uh, I mean, we're only missing one player, technically, right? The fuck, JK? Oh! That what was this smart. Is, you're playing NBA oh, we up by 20. I used to say every NBA. I Eunice. Let's go. This guy see man and ball. Spencer, what a pass. Feels like the summer league or preseason right now. Often Junior has that distance. Dropping in a three. Ayunas, bro, he literally reminds me of Jordan Poole, bro. He was good on that Eastern road trip too. Lofton, that's nifty. See, that's what I'm talking about. How nimble he is. Good pass. Nice, Kaminga. There you go. That's the growth of J.K. with the cutting charge to lay it in. His career goes along as he gains more experience, as he continues to work on the handle, get more comfortable there. He's going to be more lethal. Lofton continued to score. I think the other thing for Kaminga is. Rebounding. Taylor Hendricks dropping in the three. They don't, and they don't find a body very often. Not as much. Good pass. That's why the smallest team in the Damn, league. Damn, Sharpie? Puts it up okay. Can be one of the best is he okay? The other dude raised it. 
in the NBA, and yet they're elite in rebounding the ball. So we're not trying to hurt anybody. We're just trying to go at yeah. people's heads. <laughs> now Potter we're only up by two. Likely to play Sacramento on Tuesday in the 9-10 game. The Sensabaugh ties it up, but you'd like to win this and have a winning record at home. Shot clock at seven, Warrior lead in two. Shamanich puts it up and in and draws the foul as Quinones gets inside. You should have shot that, number 61. Robinson. Nice. Okay, who wants it more now? Ira Lewis flipping it up and in. Usman Garuba played very well for the Santa Cruz Warriors in the playoffs. Get that out of here. Got it back and got it off late. So the Warriors forced the 24 second violation. And a lot of the Santa Cruz Warriors trying to get the Golden State Warriors on Damn! Man one. I like those. Five point lead to the ball. We're up by five, they said, and make that. Never mind. They got it back. Hey! <laughs> Bradonski on the sideline is funny as hell. Spencer gets some of this action. Every warrior that has played has scored. Get on the board. Oh, nice. They said every warrior played that scored. That scored. Get that shit out of here! Let's get it! Shit, you heard the commentator, bro. We're apparently playing Sacramento still in the play-in, despite this win, apparently. We'll look at all that shit right afterwards. The cap off the end of the regular season, man. Without Curry, go to State Warriors with a W. Finishing off the regular season strong. 14 for uh, Salmonick, Hendricks, 16. Oh, wait, this is a Jazz. I don't care about them, my bad. Uh, kid JK with zero. Uh, eight for Tracy, 19 for Wick and CP with the 625 for Clay, 13 for uh, Santos, 12, 1, 4, 5, 9, 12, and 2, and then 7 for Bradonski, man. <laughs> Clap it up, Warriors, man. Game this season, a lot of us, uh, they counted us out. At least we have a fair shot to still go into the NBA Finals, man. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the, uh, like the uh, playoff picture, if I can find it. I don't wrap it up. No, nah, I'm not going to TNT. They like copywriting shit. Uh, oh, you said Twitter. Let me see what the fuck. Oh, actually, somebody. Hold on. Shout out to uh, Tripham177 on Twitter. All right, so Woj. Just show the entire Western Conference playoffs. I'm going to show y'all right now. All right. So, we care about the West. Here is the official playoffs and plan of 2024. So, the Thunder played uh, uh, the playing winner for the number eight, Clippers and Mavericks, first round. Timberwolves and the Suns, or the Buns. You got the Nuggets, the second seed. Damn, they fell to the second seed? I thought they was one. Uh, and then they played the seventh winner of the uh, play-in. Then we played a, uh, the Kings again. Rematch from last year. You know how that went. We were taking that W. And then the Lakers played the Pels. Um, when, when is this play -in happening? When is this play -in happening? Tuesday, oh man, oh man, Tuesday, Warriors is ready, man, I'll look at the Eastern if I can find it right quick, uh, playoffs, I can't find it, let me just go to Adrian still. Oh, I think I don't think the East or all the games are finished. How the fuck does nigga just upload the Western and it's not the East? Hold on, hold on, y'all. One more second. Playoffs, Eastern NBA. Okay, here we go. There we go. I should have gone to the NBA's page to begin with. My bad. 
All right. So here is the entire playoff uh, picture bracket right here. Uh, for the Eastern Conference that we didn't look at originally. So the Celtics are the first seed. They play whoever is in that eighth seed. Cavs and the Magic. The Bucks and the Pacers. The Knickerbockers and then the, uh, whoever plays in their playing wins from there. The, then the Bulls and then the Hawks. And then the Sixers with the Heat. All right, let's go ahead and make our predictions. I should have did that, but this is perfect timing. All right, so the prediction... Uh, for this entire playoff bracket, you guys would like to do parlays and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Listen up. I'll give you all a free game. Uh, Warriors is taking this against the Kings. Um, I want to say the Pelicans can upset the Lakers, but I'm going to say the Lakers got this. Lakers got the Pelicans. I feel like the Pelicans might give the Lakers some problems for some reason. Uh, then they have it. And then the Warriors will end up playing... Um, the Lakers, if they win, Warriors going to take that in seven games. Um, let's travel on to, uh, the Thunder. So we, so we end up, I can't even predict this yet until the playing is done, huh? Let me do with the teams I can see now. We can't, we, we got, we got to come back to the Thunder. It's too much going on right here. Uh, the Clippers and then the Mavericks. Is Kawhi playing? If Kawhi is healthy and is he, is, is he playing, that's the question. If that's a yes, y'all saying yes. I got the Clippers in six games. I think this could be a good series. The Buns and the Timberwolves. I'm not going to lie to you. I high-key see the Buns getting, like, going to game five. I can see them borderline getting swept. I have a feeling uh, Ant Edwards is just going to start snapping in the playoffs. Um, and then you gotta wait for the Nuggets. So I gotta wait for the Celtics. The Cavs and the Magic. This is really surprising, bro. To see the Magic in a fifth seed spot, it just shows you that the Eastern Conference is just easy as hell, bro. Um, the Magic. <clears throat> Cavs. Donovan Mitchell, Garlic. Josh Childers Jr. Hmm. Versus Paulo's first time. He's a rookie. First time in the playoffs. Hmm. You know what? Nah, I'm gonna say five games. Eh. Nah, I'll say six. Paolo might have a couple of 40 point games, but they're not gonna win that whole series. I can't see them. The Bucks and the Pacers, this is gonna be a fucking sweep. The Pacers should not even be in the fucking playoffs. This is an absolute waste of time. I don't even know how this is even possible. Pacers don't stand no chance. Everybody in that butch is healthy. You got a Kunpo. You got Dame Dollar. You got Portis looking like somebody's uncle, bro. Like, it's just in a, too much. And you got, I think, Pat Beverly, too, right? Come on, way too much going on. Pacers are not doing nothing. I don't see Halliburton carrying them over the butts. If that really happens and they prove me wrong, I will have a huge apology for the Pacers. But I don't see that happening. Nick Ibaka is going to have to wait. The Bulls and the, uh, the, the Hawks. Bulls are unhealthy, though, huh? Hmm. Trey Young, DeJounte. Nah, they're not carrying that. This is going to be interesting, though. Because there's two teams that I feel like have potential to be good, but they just don't have those pieces yet. Uh, I fuck it. I'm going to say the Hawks upset the Bulls, and then the Hawks just get swept out the, the next playoff series that they play. Uh, Sixers and then the Heat last one prediction. And Bede's back, right? I got this. I got the Sixers. This is Embiid's time right now to shine and show off and uh, prove that he can get out the first round if he hasn't got out the first round already. All right, those are my predictions, but let's see what actually ends up happening.